welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have posted a makeup tutorial, so I thought I would do one today. I'm hoping you're noticing something a little different going on. I actually finally broke down and bought a ring light and oh my god, it has changed my life for taking photos of my makeup looks. Absolutely amazing. This is my first video using my ring light and it's been a bit of a struggle, but we're figuring it out together, so I hope that like, you know, makes the quality a little bit better. It's also great because it is pitch black outside because it's five o'clock and it's nice and snowy. So we're completely in Christmas theme right now. So I'm going to get started. You're gonna see this whole makeup look from A to Z. I start with one eye done and then I do this one, then I do my face, and we do the whole shebang. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will have some more Christmas makeup coming up soon. Bye! I'm starting out by priming my lids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and grabbing my Morphe 35B palette, starting with the shade Beats Me, which is a dark berry color, and messily packing that in my crease. And next I'm taking Chicory and just lightly, lightly smoking that out. To blend out the edges a little bit more, I'm using the shade Pillow, which is a nice baby pink. Now using my favorite Milani concealer, I'm going to begin cutting my crease. And what I'm going to do is just do the outline and then I'm actually going to wipe off all of the excess eyeshadow just so I have a super clean base. So I've taped the side of my eyes so I get a super clean edge and I'm taking the shade Aspen Summit by Sephora and packing that on the inner third of my lid. And now I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette and taking the gold shade titled Queen Bee and packing that on the center of my lid and blending the two shades together. Going back to the 35B palette, I'm grabbing the shade Forest and packing that on the outer third of my lid and blending that again with the gold. Next, I'm going in with some glitter from my ColourPop palette and I'm using the shades Get Lost and Renegade and I'm kind of just placing them all over the gold area of my lid. Now I am curling my lashes and prepping them for falsies. So today I am using the Jemire lashes. I'm not really sure how to say it, but you can get them off of Amazon and they're amazing. All right, now it is time to move on to the face. So I'm priming with my The Ordinary Primer and then using my Holy Grail Stay Fabulous Foundation by CoverGirl in 905 Ivory. And I'm going to be applying that with a damp sponge. To cover my under eyes and some little pimply bits, I'm using my Milani concealer, which I showed earlier, and then I'm actually using a slightly darker um, shade to contour my nose. I'm setting my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Next, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to contour my entire face. <laughs>
for blush, I have been loving this Milani blush in Luminoso, I believe it's called. For my blinding highlight, I'm going to be using the ColourPop highlight in Flexitarian, and I'm also going to use this as my inner corner highlight for my eyes, which I think is coming up soon. I'm not sure, but that's what I use. On my lower lash line, I'm just using that shade Forest once again, and then using a clean brush just to smoke it out a little bit so there's no harsh lines. Here we go. There I am doing the inner corners. <laughs> um, for mascara, I use the Too Faced Damn Girl mascara, and I use that on my upper lashes as well to blend it with my falsies. For lipstick, I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Naz for a two. I don't know how to say that name, but it's a beautiful red. I absolutely love it. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it, clearly. Um, all of the products I use will be listed in the down bar in case you're curious. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!